Okay, when you first turn it on, it's gonna look like this. You see at the top of my home, your videos, you wanna go to your left right here at the search. You wanna go down to search yes player. As soon as you type in yes, you'll see it at the bottom. It's gonna pop up. See, it popped up down there. Now I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna click on it. And now I'm gonna click on it again so I can install it. Right there, click on it again. Now this is what you need for your terrarium to work. I'm gonna show you exactly what's terrarium. You're gonna go into terrarium. It's very easy to play a movie. Once you have this downloaded, you're all set. It's just for that one app though. All the other apps with the movies, you don't have to worry about this, but this is the best app for the movies. So you, you want this player. All right, you don't have to open it. Just press the back button. That's the arrow. Where am I right here? That's this arrow, the back button. To go back. Keep pressing the back button until you get to the home. All right, we're back at home now. Now I'm gonna show you exactly what's terrarium. So right room is going to be the one that looks like this one. You just want to click on that. I already got a set that is going to go to the movies. Or oh, I have to do an update. Look at that. You might have to do this update as well. Or oh, I probably already... Because I didn't use this one in a while. So maybe this is... This is probably the one I did for you yesterday. The update came in. I didn't use this in a few days. So whatever. Same thing though. Whenever this happens, when update, you would just do that. Come right over here to finish the install off. At that bottom corner, click on install. Because this happens from time to time. You'll get updates within the apps. They update themselves. And all you have to do is just click on install. Alright, that's install. I'm going to click on open because I want to go into this app anyway. Show you exactly what you need to do to play a movie in here. All right, okay. All right, let's say I want to watch this movie, Tomb Raider. I'm going to click on it. It takes you to the screen. Now, in that top right corner, it has a play button. But you also have a play button on your remote. You could just click the play button right here on your remote, the play pause. Or you could go up to that corner and click on that. Your choice. Now, on the next screen, this you don't have to worry about. It's just going to pop up one time. The next screen is going to show you the movies that's going to pop up the links all right that first link looks good so i'm gonna click on that one it got 1.03 gigabytes let's click on that now it's going to give you another option to play it right there or play it with subtitles i'm just going to click on play now right here in this part right here if it takes too long to buffer like anything more than five seconds is too long for me see that just started within two seconds anything more than five seconds i would just press the back button Press it again, or not press it again, just one time, and then I will click on the next link and see which one plays faster for me. Because the longer it takes to load, it means that it's going to buffer throughout the movie. This next link is pretty good. It did it within five seconds. I, I will let this link rock. So this, that's basically it for this app. Now, there's another app that I wanted you to get. It's called Silk Browser. You come back over here. And this is basically for your YouTube. You type it in. As soon as you type in silk, you'll see it at the bottom. See, there it goes right there. You just click on it right there. And the same process. Click on it again, install it. After you install it, it's going to look like this. Once you open it, it's going to be a different screen. You're going to have to go down, click on a set. And then after that, you want to click on, this is called your menu button, these three lines. You click on this right here. And it takes you to this page right here. Right here is where your bookmarks are. It's going to have a YouTube in there already bookmarked for you. What you want to do is to create your own bookmarks. You'll come right over here to the search right there. And you'll type in, whatever, you'll type in Google. Just type in Google. G-O-O-G-L-E. Right? And then go to, and just click on go. It's going to take you to Google. Now you come over here, right there, click on Google, because this is your web browser. You can go anywhere over here and you can bookmark anything. This makes stuff easy for you. Now you want to you wanna bookmark Google's, right? So you want to press your menu button, this one, and you want to go over here to where that, um, that star is at. And you just want to click on that and that makes a, a, a bookmark for Google. But I already have Google, so 
I don't need that bookmark. That's basically it. If you have any questions, just give me a call back.